Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series, episode 19, and this one's all about Windows 11 25H2, the version that looks almost identical on the surface, but secretly changes how your entire system schedules threads, handles memory, and moves data through storage and I.O. If your FPS has been fine, but your system still feels inconsistent, random hitching, unexplained CPU usage, or SSD pauses, this update might be why. And the good news is, we can tune it. In this video, we'll go through five real steps to unlock and optimize the new Windows 11 25H2 scheduler, memory model, and I.O. system. We'll use Registry Editor, Command Prompt, and PowerShell, and everything we change is tested, reversible, and low risk. By the end, your system will feel more responsive, not because of tweaks that sound good, but because you've literally told Windows how to handle work smarter. All right, let's go deep. Step one, enable the new quantum scheduler policy. Windows 11 25H2 introduced a hidden quantum scheduler update that refines how CPU time slices are distributed between performance and efficiency cores. This update changes the internal balance of how workloads are scheduled across the CPU, especially in hybrid architectures. By default, the scheduler uses an adaptive policy designed to optimize battery life and thermal efficiency, great for laptops and casual use, but not ideal for consistent gaming or real-time workloads where latency and frame pacing matter most. To unlock better responsiveness, we can manually set the quantum policy to prioritize faster task switching and steadier CPU timing behavior. Run RegEdit. Navigate to Create or modify the following DWORD 32-bit value. Quantum policy equals 6. This setting enables high responsiveness mode telling Windows to keep CPU threads active slightly longer before yielding control. The result is improved timing consistency, smoother frame delivery, and reduced micro-stutter in DirectX 12 and Vulkan titles, especially under heavy multitasking or variable workloads. Tip: The improvement is most noticeable on hybrid CPUs, Intel 12th Gen and newer, or AMD Ryzen 7000 X3D series, where Windows must constantly balance threads between high power and high efficiency cores. This tweak helps maintain consistent thread scheduling, enhancing both input latency and frame stability. Step 2. Tune the Memory Manager's Working Set Behavior Windows 11 25H2 changes how aggressively the system trims process memory in the background. While this is great for efficiency on laptops or low RAM setups, it can introduce small frame hitches or micro stutters during gameplay when the OS suddenly decides to reclaim memory from active processes. Let's fix that so your games and GPU drivers stay fully loaded in RAM. Open Command Prompt Admin and run the following commands. These tweaks tell Windows to keep important game and driver memory locked in physical RAM, preventing it from being paged out or trimmed while you're in the middle of a session. This helps maintain smoother frame pacing and eliminates those random dips when the OS tries to shuffle memory around. Extra tip. Combine this with disabling background UWP apps or auto-starting services you don't use. Freeing up even a few hundred megabytes of standby memory can make a noticeable difference in heavy games or multitasking scenarios. Step 3. Enable Advanced I.O. Latency Policy – Hidden 25H2 Feature Windows 11 25H2 quietly adds a new internal latency policy aimed at improving responsiveness for I.O.-heavy workloads like gaming and content creation, but it's turned off by default on most systems. By enabling it, we can make Windows prioritize foreground tasks and reduce I.O. queue delays that cause micro-pauses or texture pop-ins during gameplay. Here's how to turn it on manually. Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and hit Enter. Navigate to H-Key Local Machine System, 
Current Control Set, Control, I.O. Salad I.O., I.O. Salad Latency Policy. Right-click the right panel, New, D-Word 32-bit value, name it, I.O. Latency Policy. Set its value to 1. Next, go deeper to adjust NVMe-specific behavior. Create these D-Word entries. Idle Power Mode 0 stops the NVMe controller from entering low power states mid-load. Enable NVMe Latency Fix 1 enables the new 25H2 Low Latency Q Handling Mode. Once done, restart your PC to apply the changes. Revert, simply delete the values you created if you want to restore the default behavior. Tip, on modern NVMe SSDs, this tweak can shave off a few milliseconds from texture streaming and file loading times, especially noticeable in large open world games or heavy modded titles where disk I.O. spikes frequently. Step 4. Tune the thread director via PowerShell. Hybrid CPU optimization. 25H2 improved Intel's Thread Director API, but it doesn't always prioritize game threads correctly if background tasks are active. Let's give game processes a persistent scheduler hint. Open PowerShell Admin and run Then, set System Level Preference. Optional, add this registry key to reinforce the setting in RegEdit. Game Thread Scheduling, D-Word, 1. This ensures your active game threads stay pinned to performance cores, avoiding E-Core misallocation. Step 5. Optimize file cache and IOQ depth for stability. Windows 25H2 cache subsystem now uses dynamic Q depth, good for throughput, not for latency. We'll manually balance it for real-time I.O. Open command prompt admin. This stabilizes SSD access patterns, prevents cache overflow, and improves frame time consistency during background asset streaming. And that's it. You've just unlocked the hidden optimizations buried inside Windows 11 25H2. You fine-tuned how your system schedules CPU time, allocates memory, and handles storage I.O. latency, all without breaking updates or risking instability. Each change is measurable, reversible, and perfectly safe. Your game should now load faster, stream texture smoother, and respond to input more predictably. That's the power of tuning what Windows doesn't tell you about. Next up in the Tweaking Tool series, we'll cover Adaptive Core Parking and Power Throttling Overrides, True CPU Unleash Mode. If you're chasing perfect frame pacing and no background CPU drag, you won't want to miss that one. Thanks for watching, tweak smart, test carefully, and I'll see you in the next one.